क्वेश्चन इज फॉर ईच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग बेसमेंट सिग्नल्स एम टी इक्व टू टू कॉस वन थाउजेंड टी प्लस कॉस टू थाउजेंड टी एंड सेकेंड इज एम टी इक्व टू कॉस वन थाउजेंड टी इन टू कॉस थ्री थाउजेंड टी एंड वी हैव टू डिटरमाइन फर्स्ट इज स्केच द स्पेक्ट्रम ऑफ एम टी सेकेंड इज स्केच द स्पेक्ट्रम ऑफ डबल साइडमेंट सप्रेस कैरियर सिग्नल That is MT into cos 10,000 T. Third is identify the upper sideband and lower sideband spectra. And D is identify the frequencies in the baseband and the corresponding frequencies in the double sideband suppressed carrier, upper sideband and lower sideband spectra. Also explain the nature of frequency shifting in each case. Now we solve this. First, we consider modulating signal M T equals to two cos one thousand T plus cos two thousand T. And in order to sketch the spectrum of this modulating signal, we have to convert it into frequency domain using Fourier transform. And here we using A C cos omega C T equals to A C. Into pi within bracket del omega plus omega c plus del omega minus omega c. That is the Fourier transform. So using this, we get the Fourier transform of M T is m omega, and Fourier transform of two cos one thousand t is two pi within bracket del omega plus one thousand plus del omega minus one thousand. And the second term is cos 2000 t, and its Fourier transform is pi into within bracket del omega plus 2000 plus del omega minus 2000. So accordingly, we get a modulating signal in frequency domain having four impulses. The impulses at omega equals to plus minus 1000. Having value of two pi, and the impulses at plus minus two thousand having value of pi. So accordingly, we get the spectrum of this modulating signal. Second is, we have to sketch the spectrum of double sideband suppressed carrier signal, and it is given as M T into cos ten thousand T. In place of M T, we can write. Two cos one thousand t plus cos two thousand t, and after opening the bracket, we have two terms. The first term is two cos one thousand t into cos ten thousand t, and the second term is cos two thousand t into cos ten thousand t. So here we can use a formula of cos a cos b equals to one upon two within bracket cos a plus b. Plus cos a minus b. Here, cos a plus b is for upper sideband and cos a minus b for lower sideband. So accordingly, we can use a formula and we get a double sideband suppressed carrier S T equals to cos eleven thousand T plus cos nine thousand T plus one upon two within bracket cos twelve thousand T plus cos eight thousand T. And accordingly, the high frequency terms are called upper sideband, and lower frequency terms are called lower sideband. Now, using Fourier transform, S T get converted into S omega, and it is equals to pi within bracket del omega plus eleven thousand plus del omega minus eleven thousand plus Pi within bracket del omega plus nine thousand plus del omega minus nine thousand plus pi by two within bracket del omega plus twelve thousand plus del omega minus twelve thousand and last plus pi by two within bracket del omega plus eight thousand plus del omega minus eight thousand and accordingly we have impulses of value pi by two. At frequency plus minus eight thousand and plus minus twelve thousand. Also, the impulse of value pi at frequency plus minus eight thousand and plus minus twelve thousand. 
frequency of plus minus 9000 and plus minus 11000. So, from here, we can determine the C part, that is upper sideband and lower sideband spectra. Upper sideband spectra correspond to plus minus 11000 and plus minus 12000, while the lower sideband spectra correspond to frequency plus minus 8000 and plus minus 9000. Also, we explain the nature of frequency shifting after modulation that is double sideband suppressed carrier. Next modulating signal is MT equals to cos 1000 T into cos 3000 T. And here we use a formula of 2 cos A cos B. For this we multiply and divide by 2 and we get MT equals to 1 upon 2 within bracket cos 4000 T plus cos 2000 T. Now after taking a Fourier transform we get m omega equals to pi upon 2 within bracket del omega plus 4000 plus del omega minus 4000 plus del omega plus 2000 plus del omega minus 2000. So, here we get the impulse of value pi by 2 at frequency plus minus 2000 and plus minus 4000. And the second part is the frequency spectra of double sideband suppressed carrier that is ST equals to MT into cos 10,000 T. In place of modulating signal MT, we can write cos 1000 T into cos 3000 T. And using a formula of 2 cos A cos B, for this we multiply and divide by 2. And we get 1 upon 2 within bracket cos 4000 T plus cos 2000 T into cos 10000 T. Now, we open the bracket taking common 1 upon 2. And it is equals to 1 upon 2 within bracket cos 4000 T into cos 10000 T plus cos 2000 T into cos 10000 T. Now again, we use a formula of 2 cos A cos B. And here, we again multiply and divide by 2 and we get 1 upon 4 within bracket cos 14000 T plus cos 6000 T plus cos 12000 T plus cos 8000 T. Here, the high frequency terms correspond to upper sideband and Low frequency terms correspond to lower sideband. So, in order to determine the spectra of double sideband suppressed carrier, we take a Fourier transform and ST get converted into S omega and it is equals to pi upon 4 within bracket del omega plus 14000 plus del omega minus 14000 plus del omega plus 6000 plus del omega minus 6000 plus del omega plus 12000 plus del omega minus 12000 and last plus del omega plus 8000 plus del omega minus 8000. So, here first and third term correspond to upper sideband and second and fourth term correspond to lower sideband. So, accordingly we have the impulse of value pi by 4 at frequency of plus minus 6000 plus minus 8000 plus minus 12000 and plus minus 14000. And here the spectra for upper sideband correspond to frequency plus minus 12000 and plus minus 14000. And the spectra for lower sideband correspond to frequencies plus minus 6000 and plus minus 8000. And here all the impulses having a value of pi by 4. So, accordingly we can determine the spectra of double sideband suppressed carrier corresponding to the modulating signal MT equals to cos 1000T into cos 3000 T.